your body left and right. Feel the weight shifting forward and back. Hold the belly open. And then slowly as you breathe up, press the palms together and take them all the way to the sky. Lengthening. And then as you, once you reach that full point of a stretch, keeping the eyes closed, reach Forward, keeping those hands together, and pull and hold all the way down, and then just hang right there. And then when it's comfortable, go ahead and take the palms apart and just let the head hang, back of the head long, back of the neck long, belly folded in, pressed against the abdominals. And really relax the back of the head. And if you want to separate the feet, or if you want to rock forward, do it. Just make sure it's really comfortable. And then grab the elbows. And I just want you to rock it and sway it side to side gently, releasing the back. And cross the hips. Paramatma. And then whenever you're ready, come to a still point, put your hands on the floor, and then walk forward, and walk your feet back, so you're in the down dog, your very first down dog. And press away with the heels and the hands, and spread the fingers wide. Try to have a good inch between every finger, and then root the fingers into the floor, raise the hips. push-up position and just hold it. Tuck those toes in and press out of the feet. Shoulders away from the ears. Lengthen from the crown of the head to the heels. Feeling the 
quads, feeling the core. And raise it back into your down dog. And walk those feet in, and then walk the hands in. So you ride back into that forward fold, and then inhale, and slowly reverse swan dive all the way up to a slight back bend, opening the belly, opening the front of the hip. And then hands right back to your heart. And exhale, arms down. Right foot up, and then drop it right into your down dog. Walk the hands 
all the way to the feet. So you're gonna fold it. Reverse swan dive all the way up. Exhale, arms down. Now inhale all the way up. Exhale, reach, pull out of your waist. Hands to your shins, inhale. Exhale, fold down. Walk your hands forward into your down dog. Step your feet a little bit wider and shift into the upper push up position. Now we're going to do just what we did in the down dog. I want you to separate your hips slowly, keeping the chest pulled forward, keeping a lot of strength. Good. And then reverse. Keep that straight line from the back of the head and the tailbone. Now hold it right there. Drop those knees down. Right little toe. And I want you to move through the chest. Like a cat cow through the chest. Through the chest. Two more. Breathe. 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 Good. 
drop those fingertips to the floor. Find the belly. Now put the palms down and step into your down dog. And I hope you're sweating. No, I am. Good. <laughs> Me too. Really root those heels towards the floor. Give yourself a good stretch in the calves. And then raise the tailbone up so you give yourself a really good stretch in the hamstrings. Good. Take that right leg. Raise the right leg up. Now peel that right knee. Step up between the hands or further forward. Make sure you have a nice solid base. Put the foot in warrior one position. And just pick it up into a warrior one. Now, instead of that weight, we're going to take it with a little bit more power. More. Now, I want you to exhale. Exhale. Make sure you're nice and low on that right leg. Two. Hold. Reach up. Open those arms. Adjust your feet. Come low. Check it. Right knee open to the left leg. Stretch in those left leg. Be there with 
So it's around the C curve, like that. Really opening up the neck. There, there, there in the spine. Make it feel good. Good. Come on up. Now this time you're releasing those glutes, and you're just hovering it a couple of inches above those heels. So now the tailbone is kind of lifted. You've got a nice deep squat here. And I want you to pull it up and down. Don't come all the way down and down. Just finding the glutes, finding the stretch and the flexibility in the pelvis. We just stretched those quads. So every time you come up, I want you to think about stretching. And stretch and down. Stretch, down, stretch. Now next time I want you to hold it up there. Hold it up there. I don't know why it's making those noises. <laughs> Bring it here. It's my speaker. When it's fully charged, it usually does that when it's about to rock your hips sideways. Take that right hand to your right heel. Left hand to the front. Compress those hips forward. Now, if you can't touch your heel, put your hands on your back. Good, because we just prepped warming it up. If you can take it deeper, breathe it up. Firm that low belly now. Good. Come on up, both arms up. Take that left arm down. Same thing, it can be here, it can be the heel. Hands are right to the ceiling. Heart square to the ceiling, so that means that right side pulls down. That left side lifts up some more. See it even move forward a 
over those knees. Bring those hips over a little bit more. Breathe. Take that right hand to the front of the room. You can have your hands either place. It doesn't matter. Just stretching and opening their heart. Just move the pelvis. Try to open the heart. Broaden the collarbone. What you're doing is unfurling one leg at a time and bringing yourself into a reverse tabletop. So whatever that looks like for you, but just let it be slow and thoughtful. <clears throat> Raise those hips up. Now make sure your entire foot is connected to the floor. You're not just in your heels. And I want you to do those little circles. Circle. So it's really intense in the glutes. Lift. 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 Reverse. Circle. Circle. Now lift. Root those feet. Root the hands. Lift. Lengthen knees. Push those knees forward. Push the shoulders and touch the back. Breathe. Inhale. Stretch. And exhale. Come all the way down. Perfect. Cross that right leg over. And just reach through with that knee. Pull the chest up. So you're stretching right in that right hip. You can also grab that leg here. Or you can grab here. Whatever feels the best for you today. And it might be different on both sides. So experiment. Just stretching up that hip. Then you're going to crawl that left foot to the right. And you're going to slide into log stacking pose. So the shoes are stacked right on each other. Ankles and knees are stacked right on each other. Spread those hips wide. Inhale up. Exhale, reach forward. Go as low as you can before. Or you set the arms down. And then just melt right here. We're taking this more into a yin yoga pose. So your only job is to keep your body long and open. And we talked about that light. Where can you make room for light in your body? Whether it's your hips or your shoulders, or your spine. Find as much space for light in your body as you possibly can. Deep breaths. And then when you find and feel that tension rising, release and let it go. Scan the body starting with your toes to your knees, releasing tension. Knees to hips, and yes, there's something pulling going on in your hips, but relax. Hips to the ribs, both on the front and the back of your body. Ribs to shoulders, really relax those shoulders. 
Shoulders yeah. to elbows. Elbows to fingertips. Your head and your face. Both feet up, shins parallel to the floor. Perfect. I just want you to stretch. Hands in. Stretch. Hands in. Stretch. Hands in. Stretch. Now take both feet together. Stretch. Long. And in, stretch the bottom, and in. Now fold them up there long. Take those hands, take the right side forward, and then the left side forward. If you need to grab your legs, grab them. If you need to bend your legs, bend them. Separate those feet. I want you to circle the ankles. Breathe. And reverse, chest forward. Take those legs a little wider. And we're just going to tap and extend. Tap. Every single 
Release the shoulders. Now look forward. Crawl those arms along the mat onto the elbows and tap those toes back so you're in an elbow plank. Stretch the hips and then tap. constant pull back, moving the heart wide, push the shoulders to each side of the room, now close those heels together, zip those inner thighs, inhale, if it feels comfortable to push, you can exhale and push a little bit more, if not, just don't, it's finding your stretch point, and then drop down and Those arms to the side and look to the left. chest opener. All I want you to do is be wherever you're at, where you feel your chest opening. Isometrically squeeze those knees towards each other and take those ankles wide. So watch my feet. That is not a position you want to be in. That is. Okay. Inhale. Exhale and try to straighten those legs. Try to move the chest and the throat open and up a little bit. Notice when you take full breaths, how it moves your body on the floor.
hips out.
Think about breathing in light, breathing in space. And this is that mantra. And then a couple of breaths into it. I'm going to have you do some of your own movements. And the only rule on the movement is you do what feels really good to you. You don't worry about what anybody else is doing. And you keep your eyes closed. Now, if you want to look at me, because you're thinking, I don't want to look at you, you can do that, but please close your eyes again. Just 